ladies and gentlemen of all ages, boys and girls, thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Angry Meat Production. We appreciate you coming in and letting us be a part of your lives week in and week out. We hope to do our best to present you with something that your eardrums delight in. Whether you're looking at us on YouTube or Rumble, or listening to us on Spotify, Google, or Anchor, or any of the other podcast services that we are currently on or trying to get on, we thank you. And if you don't mind, at the end of every episode, stop by, leave us a comment, leave us a like. If it asks for five stars, we'll take five stars, even if you don't like us. Five stars are what it's all about. With that being said, we hope you enjoy our attempt to make our advocation our vocation. Ladies and gentlemen, let the games begin. Welcome, Angry Faithful. Today on Nerd Sports 93, and yeah, um, uh, we're going to talk about, God, I can't remember the freaking name of it. And we talked about this before. I would, I I <laughs> I ended up, it's uh, Coachlow, Coachlow, I think it is. Yeah, Coachlow. It, basically, it, it, this board game is uh, like a $300 piece of wood, and you take like little pegs, like uh, checker, checker pegs, and you just flick them around uh, this like circular board. I'll, I'll send you some stuff. It's... <laughs> It, it, like it, a full contact cribbage kind of thing. No, it's just you what it sounds like. and you just like you just yeah. That's you just that's what, it's that's like what snooker and cribbage flick, had a baby. You you flick little uh, tokens and everything, and it, it in India it's like an international sport. So well, why do you think okay, there's so many what people you living in India? They breed like rabbits over there. And it's because they play games like this because the men have practiced flicking the bean. That's all I'm trying to say, dude. You're not wrong. I mean, I mean leave it to a country that invented the Kama Sutra to come up with a game like that. That's that's a good point. That is a good point. <laughs> Chris right, was so, uh, you know, I, I just I want to address the elephant in the country. And, and um, Stephen A. Smith, I don't like the guy, oh. but I saw one of his TikToks today. Uh, he was on first take this morning on um, the NFL Network, I think it was. And uh, Jerry Jones, he said Jerry Jones is a fraud. He lied. He did say that for 27 years. He, he lied to the press. He lied to the Dallas. He lied to Cowboy fans everywhere. And for the last two years, last year, Dallas went 12 and 4. And they made the playoffs. They lost to the 49ers. Um, and they lost because they didn't, the, the players on the field didn't know the rule. Or if they knew the rule, they were oblivious to the rule because they weren't paying attention to the time clock. And, and the referee needs to reset the ball before a play can even be, you know, and the whole time the clock is running, right? This year, Cowboys made a game of it for about a half. And then, the, the defense obviously started wearing down because the, the the San Francisco offense gets into a rhythm and, and then the defense starts to step up. And I mean, the fact that Dak Prescott threw two interceptions didn't help the fact that Brett Mayhar got a, got an extra point blocked, which according to the guys on the radio looked like it was going to be pulled left anyway, but to save Brett Mayhar and to his credit, he did hit both the field goals that he did attempt. So there's that. But um, getting back to Jerry Jones, Jerry Jones knows what it takes to win. I mean, he demonstrated that after he bought the team in the 90s and he hired Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson was given control over the draft. He was given control over personnel decisions. He was basically like a head coach slash GM, even though officially that role was being filled by the owner, um, Jerry Jones himself. Um, Jerry Jones wants the Cowboys to win, but he wants them to win so that he can take credit for the win by wearing all those different hats, right? 
Now, I, you know, before I really started, you know, getting into following the Cowboys, you know, past uh, the casual point um, and really kind of following the team and really kind of getting behind the team, mostly over the last two years, because my my wife and is and her sister are fervent uh, Dallas Cowboy fans. But they're in the cult. It's OK. Yeah, it's an it's an occult, and and Oops. I got sucked right in. You know what was it that old Adam Sandler you know album? You know what the hell happened? Uh, the night time <laughs> is the right time. Um, <laughs> but um, you know Jerry Jones, he needs to take a page out of the playbook of the Hunt family who own the Chiefs. Um, he needs to take a playbook out of every other owner in the league who's won a Super Bowl over the last 27 years. And that is just be an owner, hire yourself a GM. And I'm sorry. I, I know that there's a lot of people that, that sing the praises of Mike McCarthy, but Mike McCarthy is a bumbling idiot. The last time Mike McCarthy was relevant was in 2010 when he won the Super Bowl with the Packers in AT&T stadium. So, you know, where you know where jerry jones gets off talking about you know well we're just going to come back and we're going to get him next year and he's calling everybody else a fraud and 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 you know what was it he he called um he called stephen a smith a, a fluke to his face you know which i thought was kind of a ballsy move but um you know well, stephen you, a smith, didn't you read- as, much as, I, as much as i don't like the guy <laughs> on, on every every sunday or you know every every post game that you know every day after a cowboys loss Stephen a smith reverts to true form and he's nothing more than just an overpaid blowhard but on this particular monday you know after watching the cowboys lose to the 49ers again in the playoffs um by the way i called that i did i i <laughs> my heart set with i knew i knew that date was gonna fuck me over basically she kept on calling me up, messaged me. It's like, oh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do some great stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm oblivious to it. I'm gonna show up to a place that I actually like to eat, and I'm gonna still get to go. Okay, so to Chris's and I's defense, we had faith in the system. Okay, we bought in to the promise that the Dallas Cowboys of 2022-2023 were different, okay? Mm -hmm. They brought in, you know, I mean, yeah, they lost Amari Cooper because of cap reasons. That's fine. It's whatever. We moved C.D. Lamb over to the number one receiver slot. Um, He became number one receiver. Then you bring bring in uh, T.Y. Hilton. Um, And then, you know, you've got uh, Schultz, who is basically a third wide receiver at this point. I mean, because he over over the course of the season, he had more more receptions and more yards after the catch uh, than Brown did. But you know, you 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 know, yeah, Zeke Elliott had a, a definite fall off after uh, his injury, so he wasn't as nimble, he wasn't as agile, and he definitely wasn't as fast. But Tony Pollard stepped in and kind of became the savior, right? Um, halfway through the game and during week one against the Buccaneers, Dak Prescott gets injured. Here comes Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush kind of leads the team to what is going to be a promising season by winning, what, the next four games? And, you know, kind of puts us on that trajectory of getting to a winning record. And then here comes Dak coming back in. He he throws kind of a stinker of a game. You know, kind of everybody's chalking that up to just kind of knocking the rust off and just getting back into, you know, full-blown football activities. And you know they they're they're winning key games and they're they're putting up thirty plus points consecutive you know consecutive weeks, and you know they they set all kinds of records this you know franchise records this year, uh, you know most consecutive weeks putting up thirty plus points, uh, you know yards uh, yards after reception over expected, which apparently is a new stat. Um, we can we can thank Amazon Next Gen Stats for that, but. Um, you know, here it comes. We're getting ready for the postseason. Week 18. I mean, the Jags just absolutely been the, the Cowboys over the table. Dak throws what, four picks in that game, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, it, it was it was horrible. It was horrendous. And then here it comes. Week one, 
wild card weekend of the playoffs and the Cowboys show up offensively, defensively, special teams. And, 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 <laughs> Most and they, whoa, whoa, whoa. The special teams and you need to back up. Well, on that one. Well, well, even Greg Abbott. Most okay. of the special teams. With the exception Greg of Brett Mayer. <laughs> okay. Greg With the Abbott exception of Brett Mayer. Hey, I might be able to uh, be a really good kicker compared to that guy. He has no use of his <laughs> legs, and I still believe in Greg Agnew. Okay. Well, I mean, to be fair, he probably played a lot of that table football, you know. With the <laughs> well, you could set up like a pneumatic system on the wheelchair there, and it would, you know, at least you know what it. I mean, if the system. guy from Def Leppard can play the drums with one arm, well, yeah, that's <laughs> true. With no legs, <laughs> right? But okay, so that's very interesting. Thank you, David. Thank you, Chris. You know, with the exception of Brett Mayhar missing those four extra points. Um, you know, the team showed up to play. I mean, the fact that the PATs were being missed regularly and kind of conspicuously um, really didn't play a factor because of the point spread. Um, I mean, the de defense really bailed out the offense on that one, um, you know, that kind of a situation. But then, you know, everybody's kind of excited because, all right, now we're going to play the 49ers. And you got this storied postseason rivalry. And, you know, for, for, for most of the first half, it, it was it was nothing but field goals. I mean, they kept San Francisco out of the end zone during the first half. And I mean, at the yeah, half, they were it was doing good, and then they dropped the ball. They got tired at the second half. Well, and yeah, I, see, but here's the thing. I literally saw it doesn't matter how I literally good saw is. I literally saw most of the team get tired on the field. It was yeah, it, it was they because were it doesn't matter how well anymore. conditioned you are. Right. But it doesn't matter how well conditioned you are. It doesn't matter what your strength conditioning coaches. Well, yeah. it, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what your personal trainers do. It doesn't matter what kind of, of mindset your defense has. has. If they're on the field for a majority of the second half, because your offense is getting three and outs, you know, they're grabbing a first down here, they're grabbing a first down there. But they're, they're consistently and constantly, they're throwing interceptions or they're having to punt and not putting points on the board, your defense is, is going to wear out. So, I mean, but yeah, I, I don't I don't really blame the defense and the way that the defense played last I was time. I was talking about the offense, too. I mean, you could literally oh, no, see Jax just like – he, he I, was, because I, I, think, I saw a couple think, of plays. You, he was flinging the ball. He wasn't like – That was more frustrating. Yeah, well, because, because the, the offensive line, which has been pretty good for most of the year – kind of started falling into those old habits of false starts, holding, um, legal use of the hands to the face. I mean, just stupid penalties, and, and, you know, and, and it's like, why? You know, and, and, you know, because I think the defense, I think only had like two penalties all night, three, three penalties all night. And Are you talking about San Francisco? Yeah, they only had no, like. I'm talking about Dallas. No, I'm talking about seven. the Dallas. They had seven penalties. The defense. The defense. Oh, okay. The so, defense? yeah, two on the defense. The, most of the penalties. The most of the penalties came from the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, I, I think there was there was a there was a neutral zone infraction, and there was a there was a holding. No, there was four penalties on the defense. There was two holdings, a neutral zone infraction, and a. Um, I want to say there was a pass interference late in the game that put the ball in the Dallas two. Yeah. So, but you know, and, and it's just at that point when your offense isn't doing the things that it needs to do, it's 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 a battle of attrition, and you, you tend to you know the only time you really see an offense get tired is if the defense is dominating the battle at the line of scrimmage, right? If they're getting penetration into the backfield, they're sacking the quarterback, they're putting pressures on the quarterback. They're, they're, you know, making tackles for a loss. I mean, that really tends to take the, the wind out of the sails of any offensive unit. I don't care what team it is. Um, I mean, in no way, shape, form, or fashion am I making excuses for Dallas because, I mean, I wanted them to win that game, obviously. But <laughs> I think at the, at the heart of it, it's, it's Dak Prescott needs to take responsibility for the lack of performance because – those two interceptions that he threw directly led to uh, San Francisco field goals. Yeah. And, and it's like, okay, why is he throwing interceptions again? Well, it's because at the heart, at the heart of the matter, Dak Prescott lacks the ability to read certain coverages and 
San Francisco well, that, to that, their credit. Think, they were think... they were using a lot of really they were using a lot of really good schemes that had guys in, in spy positions where they were disguising their coverages. Um, you know, so what they would do, and, and this is specifically geared for you, David, is the fact that whenever you're talking about having somebody hang out as a spy, usually it's either going to be a free safety or a middle middle linebacker. So what they will do is they will run up to the line of scrimmage at the time that the ball is snapped and act like they're going to be a pass rusher. Then what they'll do is they'll kind of fade back because when you get a linebacker that rushes up onto the line of scrimmage to, to either pass rush or uh, make a tackle on a linebacker or a running back for a loss that leaves the middle open. So that's prime, prime real estate for your receivers to make a short route or you have your um, tight ends come across the middle and it, those are just like four or five yard pickups and, 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 the, and those add up right yeah because i think so, i think in like uh the third half one of the uh you mean the third quarter yeah the third quarter yeah uh on the third quarter one of the uh <laughs> shut the fuck up chris i <laughs> literally did not say a word I'm letting you do it all by yourself. You're out of your element. <laughs> all by yourself. One of the de- one of the defenses like just barrel rolled through the whole freaking uh, uh, offensive line like it was nothing. Yeah, and got to Dax. I mean, and plus clock time management, clock managing the clock for the Dallas offense was not there at all. I mean, you look at Patrick Mahomes uh, on Saturday. The dude had a bad ankle. He got rolled up on. Yeah, and he left the game. With for for like an entire series there just before the end of the first half to get an X-ray on his ankle and get it taped. He was out there in the second half making plays. So I don't know if he's going he to be. Able to, I don't know if he's going to be like a hundred percent next week when he's playing. Oh, he, he is because the, the X-rays came back negative. Um, it, it basically what they attributed because I mean what happened was is that his leg got pinned, um, and his ankle kind of went that way a little bit um, because one of the defensive players rolled up on his ankle from the outside. So it just kind of twisted his ankle at a weird angle. So, I mean, they're, they're going to rehab it during the course of the week. He might have light practice today, tomorrow and Wednesday, but Thursday he's going to be full con, you know, he's going to be full practice. Friday's going to have full practice. He's going to get all of his snaps in Um, Saturday. They're going to give him a day to rest. They're probably going to do their walkthroughs. And then Sunday, they're they're you know the AFC is getting the prime time slot uh, for Sunday night for their championship game, but um, you know it's it just specifically as it relates to the Dallas Cowboys, their problems as an organization start at the top. I mean Jerry Jones, Very top. he experienced a lot of success in the nineties. And then after that, there was a complete drop off. Um, See, the problem the problem with that, though, is you say he had success in the 90s, which is. Well, he's even saying he's right now, claiming just, credit for that. He's the one to say he, he in his mind, the reason that they were successful in the 90s because of him. Yeah, and that's, not that's, true that's why I said that. In any way. Right. That's but why he's I say even that. saying right now. He's even saying right now that because uh, I just got I just got a message. That Jerry Jones is saying that Mike McCarthy is uh, as head coach is not losing his job. I mean, they they have a good record. Well, because they're... he's not speaking against them, he lets them do whatever the hell he wants. He but, has yeah. another guest bit. That's all he ever wants. Anybody in that that's what happened. The, the officer has to be a yes man that will only do what Jerry Jones says. That's what happened. Which is back the reason in the why Je- it's why Je- it's why Jimmy Johnson got fired. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know, and he was a but, damn good coach. Here's the problem with the Cowboys. Okay. Biggest problem. Okay. They have to go out and spend way too much money on all these aging veterans to come in. They, they, you know, I mean, yes, per capita, they've got one of the, if not the youngest team in the league, but I mean, they're signing guys from the practice squad who are showing flashes of, of, of potential. They don't ever draft. Well, they don't, they don't, you know, the only reason why they got um, Troy Aikman was because they were absolute dog water the year before. So they got a high draft pick um, the year that they went one in 15, which was uh, 
Troy Aikman's rookie year. You know, the only game that they won was that Monday night game against the Washington Redskins, the undefeated Redskins at that point, right? Um, you know, then, then they went out and they got, um, I think it was uh, Ken Norton Jr., I think, if I remember correctly. But the problem is Jerry Jones signs these players to come in because he wants to win now as opposed to laying the foundation for a team that's going to be relevant for a number of years. Um I mean, there's even reports that he's he's, he's looking for. Uh, I can't even say uh, Vascano. Vascano, Vascano. Yeah, yeah no, the, he the, signed him. No, they they signed him. He was uh, as a backup kicker. Um, probably, I think it was Thursday of last week. Um, and they signed him off of the practice squad. Yeah, as a, as insurance and insurance yeah. only. Um. So that's the problem because he keeps doing all these band aid solutions without yeah, and, actually and it's worrying making about the Cowboys the just good enough to where they have to draft where their first round draft is in the the bottom half, mm-hmm. and and oh, it's like go over the draft next week. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we can we can the draft isn't until April, so I mean, we can actually yeah. wait a couple yeah. weeks on it. I, I want to wait to do the draft until after the Super Bowl because. There's going to be some some things about that that we're going to want to dissect, um, you know. And on top of that, exactly two weeks after the Super Bowl is over, spring training starts because pitchers and catchers report for spring training. Yeah. But, um, you know, so I mean, my winter is about to come to an end. Thank God. But, <laughs> um, you know, so I mean, it there there was a, there was a few surprises over the over the weekend. Um, I know that we had. That's what <laughs> we only had one game picked correctly. Um, well, we had no, we two had games two. picked correctly. We've had two. We had we two. Had two. Yeah, we had two. Now, the Chiefs over the Jags, you know, I, going into it, I was like, I felt really confident about it. Then I started hearing that stat that Trevor Lawrence has never lost on a Saturday. You know, and I was like, oh, well, that might be a problem. Uh, but and it, and it kind of was there for, you know, the f- – first quarter and half of the second quarter um yeah. and, and that was and that when, was a when I, Chad I kinda, came in as the backup and drove the team 92 yards and scored a touchdown i mean when that offensive line stepped up and said all right you know what we're gonna do this and they took it over and then they just rode on that that momentum all the way through the second half and it was just it was a no-brainer at that point um, well it was we still it picked, was still a close game on paper, yeah, it was a close game. It was, it but, was, I mean, fun it's, it's, to, my, my thing was, it was a fun game to watch. watch. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a fun, fun game, game to watch. watch. And you didn't, you, you couldn't dissect it to the point where it's like, well, if, if the, uh, if the moon and, and Venus were aligned just right, it would have been this way. No, it was, it was, I'm, I'm hearing Tommy Lee game. Jones's argument from Men in Black 2 when he's talking <laughs> about the reason why the Mets won the 69 World Series. Okay, but we had we had the they would have had pancakes instead of waffles. It would have been completely right. You know, if the guy making making the baseballs down in Guatemala, there's some people out there that that, that's what they go down. It was like, yeah, if the guy making the balls down in Guatemala hadn't had marital problems, he would have wound the ball correctly. (laughs) He missed that one stitch, and yeah, that one stitch. That little boy kind of fucked up those stitches. (laughs) Didn't air it right. So we're going his back. overlord. We're going to his overlord. <laughs> he threw an overlord. extra stitch in his shoe and just yeah. Yeah, fucked everything. Up. Yeah, his overlord cheated him out of a out of a minute of, of outside <laughs> time. So yeah, but uh, <laughs> but we had the Chiefs beat to pick or uh, to beat the Jags. That happened. Um, we picked the Eagles begrudgingly to beat the Giants. The Giants showed up for a, a single touchdown, and then it was out. No, no, over no, 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 no. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't get to uh, downplay this. You and Chris were like, "Oh no, oh no, the hey, Giants!" No, 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 no. We wanted Listen. the Giants to win. Yes, we so, knew so they weren't, but we. I, wanted. I need you, David. I need you to come down off of that high horse. Because Dude, you're I showing ba- everybody. I no. no, no, I re no, no. re The reason to the episode, why you need to come down off that high that horse, David, is because you're showing everybody your hairy balls, and we don't need to see that. Okay. No. That is way too much hair. No, we need to see it. It just makes it look bigger. Okay. But I had to battle 
for that fucking uh, we didn't thing. have to battle anything. We I said had to from the beginning that the Eagles you were going to win. He's like, that. no, 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 no. Hold on, sir. No. Let me put in my mother. We, and I wish we need the progressive. We need the progressive stats. challenge flag. I'm I'm saying, man. I'm this, this I want to throw, show throw, you throw the, the stats down. of the Giants. So, Jamie, can we go back to the playback, please? Go over to the playback because oh, we, we never we, said we, that they weren't going to win. We said we wanted the Giants oh, to win. Oh, dude. Because you, you know what's happening right now, Chris? We would want episode. to have to Realist face the Giants. Episode. I had to put you know on armor, right now. Hey, a is... shield, a sword. Ceasefire. 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 You know what's happening right now, Chris? Massive David, amount of denial. David, it, it, there's two things going on here. One. David is projecting an incredibly huge amount of baby dick energy. And yes. two, he's suffering from Jerry Jones derangement syndrome. That's what it is. Because he's the no, producer. No, All of a sudden, no, he's gone. No, no I, I, I had Absolutely. to. I was like, I was like, maybe, maybe. We peons are no, busy questioning. Credit. How dare we question the no. leader of no. what's going on here? No, I gave y'all motherfucking credit in my head. I was like, no, nah, they didn't tell me that the you know, that crackhead wasn't going to steal that Cadillac converter. Then I went over to the replay. Oh, we and never said they weren't going to win. We never and said no, that. We said, the that they they have a we said that Daniel Jones has been playing a hot hand, and, and he had the, the ability and the offensive tools to get the job done. Now, what happened on Sunday, or I mean Saturday, rather, when the Eagles played the Giants, is that the Giants' defense forgot to show up. You know what it is, Johnny? He's gaslighting us. We're being gaslit right now. You, oh, no. You are We're not getting gaslit. You can go back to the He's episode. gaslighting us. I had a battle this, for that motherfucker. Ladies and gentlemen, you're seeing this I, in I'm suddenly having flashbacks to my divorce. That's what this is right I now. Don't, right? I don't, right? I feel... Y'all motherfuckers can gaslit. say what you want. I feel gaslit. This is incredible. You, you, can no, you know what? It's what okay. You, you can it's go okay back. Because we'll, we'll let... Hey, David, we're, we're going to concede. We're going to be like Lord Chamberlain the in the 1930s when he appeased. No, when he appeased <laughs> Adolf Hitler. Okay. We're going to back off. We're going to let you have Poland. Just promise not to invade France. Yes, All right. Yes. So moving on, we don't picked have, the Bills. You can't to... have Czechoslovakia. You can't, <coughs> no, no, you can't have, Czech... yeah, you can't have, you can't have Czechoslovakia either. But we picked the Bills to beat the Bengals. Now that one should have happened. Hands up. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. We, we that one. Up. I, did not I mean, I'm, 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 I'm watching that game progress, and I'm like, what in the world is going on here? You know, and, and Dude, I, I turned you know, that on, and I was like, what the fuck happened here? Joe <laughs> Shiesty, dude. Joe freaking Burrow. That's what, exactly what happened. <laughs> Joe Burrow showed up, and he was like, he did his best impression of young Tom Brady, and he went all playoff. That's what he did. Yeah, he basically got on that field. He's like, you know what? I think we should go to the Super Bowl. And that's what well, it happened. Last year, if you remember correctly, last year during the playoffs, the Bengals basically followed the charge of their kicker. You know, Mr. Automatic. He was like, all right, you know, as soon as he made, you know, as soon as he made contact with that ball to send the, the Bengals to the Super Bowl or to the AFC championship game, he goes, let's bring on Kansas City. And then they go in there and they beat Kansas City. You know, and, and and I think it's a complete travesty that they lost to the Rams last year, but we see what happened to the Rams this year. Anyway, <laughs> so right now we're looking at the uh, the Chiefs are going to play the Bengals in in Kansas City. Now, if the Bills would have won that game, there was going to be a neutral site uh, championship game played in Atlanta. I think the NFL did that because of the DeMar Hamlin situation. I don't think that it's right. I think they should have been able to host that game in Orchard Park, but it, it is what it is. Uh, it's kind of a moot point now because the Chiefs are going to host it at their home field. Um, but then we we picked the Dallas Cowboys to beat the 49ers. Now that game, we did argue it going back and forth, um, and, and we we could sit there and argue with David ad nauseum. But it, it really, at the end of the day, we saw what happened. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean they, and they we discussed had, they, it. We and we even discussed it at the top of the show. So I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of finger pointing that can be done. Um, but I mean, it all the, points the, in one direction. But yeah, it, it does. Yeah. It, it all points yeah. in one direction. You know, I mean, it's, it's like, like good one old, touchdown it's, it's again. Like a good old fashioned. Can pull it off. 
I mean, yeah, and, I mean, it's like saying, you know, and when you point at somebody, there's three fingers pointing back at you because you're part of the problem. Like, no, the, the, it's you. It's all you. All yeah, you. and it we you know. and, and that last that last play where the defense just spread everything out to make sure they couldn't. Well, well they were getting ready for a hail mary. So, yeah, so they were they, they, they were up ready for a hail mary. Yeah, so I mean, you send all your defensive backs to the you know deep. Right? I think there was one person the, in the stands. That's how far back they went. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and so what they did is they kept they that I mean their, their their defensive line even went back. I mean their defensive linemen were were playing secondary. They yeah. had two linebackers up on the line. That was it. And for whatever reason, I don't know why. And Mike McCarthy declined to elaborate on it today, and, and, and even last night during the post game, he had Zeke Elliott playing center. And and it was funny watching this linebacker put Zeke on his back. <laughs> you know, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, <laughs> like a I'm like, oh. Uh. It's like that video you see where the the where the Make a Wish kid was running down the field, and that dude just freight train. <laughs> or, or the scene from the Water Boy, you know, the scene from the Water Boy where where Michigan brings their Water Boy out across the middle, and he just gets absolutely murdered. Yes. Um. <laughs> Like that was what it looked like. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's it, it was an interesting weekend. Um, you know, I, I I will take the I will take a fifty fifty split on that and still call a winning record for for our picks. Yes, that's a glass we, we half did, full. But you good. know what? It, it, ones as far we... as statisticians are concerned, five hundred is still a winning season. So I'm I'm good. With I'll, that. I'll I'll take. It. Yeah, we, so we did, now we... we've got we've got we got championship weekend. Yeah. where the NFC is going to play the early game. It's going to be the Eagles and the 49ers. I don't really care who wins this game. I'm just putting it out there because I have a fervent hate for, for the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. But I also have an extreme dislike of the 49ers, but I dislike the 49ers less than I hate the Eagles. But I don't want, look, look, I, you know, and 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 I, and I don't want game. next week. I don't want when we come back next week for David to go. Oh, I called that one. Let's go run the playback. You know, just roll that. You know what? Beat you're a very, First you're all, a very, 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 very upsetting Correct. person when when you lose. Just, just saying. Hey, hey, right here. Didn't lose. Uh, Did we on, just on, say that there on, was on so many John McCain? Teams. Okay, that name right there. Okay, that's you. All right. I know it says Carl, but that's that's you right there. Okay. I'm just saying. Just that it was a winning season. How is he losing if it was a winning season? You got some like new ways. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, just that math. one game. Yeah, I was going to say it's yeah. common core math, man. That's yeah, all there is to it. It's the Orwellian 1984 double speak. Is you know, Chris, I brought you on here just for the uh, the the comic relief guy and everything, and keep don't, me, don't, don't, don't impose your You're draconian views up. upon us, David. <laughs> you are fucking this. I think you, up. don't you have a book burning to go attend? I, I'm. This is wow. wow. Wow! I mean, <laughs> really? I didn't although, to be that. fair, wow. to be fair, when we are, you know, when when we do prove that we are, you know, su superiorly correct, we, mm -hmm. we do we will have to make sure David doesn't hide in a bunker and then come out later to put a bullet in his brain. I'm just you know, that's true. That's there. that's very true. Only to have the the Russians come in and keep his micro penis in a jar somewhere. We'll have to his his only ball. <laughs> his his half sack. Oh, David was a really big Lance Armstrong fan. I'm just, I'm just... <laughs> he was emulating. Yeah. He, he said, "I'm going to be just like you when I grow up," and then he just didn't grow up. That was the problem. God, I can't. Oh, uh, I, I, I honestly, I honestly can't wait for you to come up. <laughs> other than your goddamn fucking sleep, it just makes it easier. It's, the, it's, it's, it's coming in February or coming in April. That's what's gonna happen. Oh, I'm gonna fucking smother you in your goddamn fucking sleep, there, boy. Uh, <laughs> fuck it. I had, I had a good run. <laughs> 
Fuck it. Like stands to the hourglass. Or <laughs> <laughs> the days of our lives. It'd take me out right. either to dinner or with a with a sniper. I one of the either one. Right. I, I All right. So in, in the uh in the spirit of time management here, um, who are we going to take? I mean, the Eagles or the Niners? I mean, you know, no matter who wins, we all lose. Let's be honest. Yeah, that the. Right. That is I mean, I, I've already made up my mind I that like I don't care who represents the AFC. I'm rooting for the AFC in the Super Bowl. I yeah, I'm, I I do I do think the Bengals are going to take it, and I think it's yeah, uh, it's gonna, I'm calling it now. It's going to be Bengals 49ers. So, so the, yeah, it. so it's Bengals 49ers. Okay, I'm all right, yeah, I'm good with that. All right, so let's let's just take the Bengals over the Chiefs. I would. And I like the Eagles just because I want. I'd rather see I want, the uh, Bengals win. I, re- I, I would I'm, like to see the Bengals win. I really I'm, would I'm, like to I'm see the Bengals. Really root, rooting for the Bengals. Ooh, Man, so because, you know what? You I know want what? the tears. I want to drink the tears of the Eagles fans so much because they've been talking so much shit after this loss this weekend uh, of the Cowboys' loss. They have been talking so much shit on every social media. That I just want to see Joe Burrow light up another football. cigar in the locker room. Thank you. I just, oh, I want to see the. I just want, I don't care what happens, to be honest. I just want the Eagles to lose in, in whatever fashion that brings. I just want the Eagles to lose. I mean, regardless as to who goes, I mean, it's going to be exactly. a great Super Bowl. I almost don't know if it would be better if they make it to the Super Bowl and then get their guts stomped into the ground. I almost feel like that would be a sweeter. I would be willing to take the loss on that pick just to see That's that true. happen. That's <laughs> true. I would almost favor the the loss even more if that happens because it's like it's it's like the the, the dude with the dollar bills. Ooh, you, you gotta be a little you quicker. Almost you and, and to go or, in with the on the best flip side, record and still lose. Oh, yeah. Or on the flip side, see the Niners go with hopes that they're going to get their their finally their sixth Lombardi Trophy, only to see let see it stolen away from the team that they beat back in the eighties. Yes. Either way, honestly, I want to see the Bengals win this. I really do. This guy knows they've earned it, especially this year. So are they we gonna? Are we gonna? Them. Are we gonna? Do our best Nostradamus uh, impression and call the Super no, Bowl. No, because we fell completely. I, I want us to shut up out of right now because of that shit. <laughs> okay, so Chris, you and I, we're we're right here. <laughs> I we got it. You know. Okay. We don't need. All right. So we don't need the naysayer over there. Right. We're we're good. So what I'm gonna. All right. So now that we've got our picks in, it's Bengals over the Chiefs, Niners over the Eagles. Set it in stone. Chisel it. Consider it gospel. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Moses will carry it down from upon high Mount Sinai and proclaim it to the people. Um, <laughs> that was blasphemous. You're gonna burn. I know. Um, I'm gonna I'm give 15. Colin. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring Colin in so that way we can get our our in weekly dose of joke time with Colin. So give me just a second to do that. And in the how is it that you got better? I don't know because I it's turned happy. off the mic. That's the... How is it you haven't gotten better? Oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love you, David. You know I do. I, I know you do, but it's one of those <laughs> loves that I still get a black it's, eye. Yes. It's, it's a tough love. And tell everybody mm-hmm. that I fell down the fucking stairs. Mm hmm. Next time, just do the dishes like you're told, David. That's exactly. Awesome. You just you give me too much lip. Okay. That's what it is, man. <laughs> yes, sandwich. You slice the onions I'm too thick. <laughs> no, that's all. Oh, come on, answer the phone, guy. <clears throat> what is he doing? He's been hanging out with David too much. David's incompetence is just splashing all over everybody. Incompetence now. Incompetence. <laughs> <laughs> Tough love, David. Tough love. <laughs> oh my God. Hold him to get ready. That? Did you know when you get like you're just clearing stuff out and then you see something, you're like, what the fuck is that? I want I want to show you this. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you this picture. On, on I my... usually don't look that close to the toilet bowl, to be honest with you. I do. I just want to make sure that there's nothing trying to come back at me. 
I didn't I didn't eat something that I shouldn't have. The hell have you been eating? Because they split this like I guess it's pork and it looks like a JJ. That you really shouldn't kiss and tell, David. It's the sign of a one hundred percent looks like some uh, some Arby's. That, those are beef curtains for sure. Yeah. <sighs> no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on that. I don't. I don't need to see it. Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive like, all the way down like there, that. pull your eyes back, and, and we'll do the whole the phone right there. It's like you can't stop this. The, the whole bird the box whole thing. Bird box thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, waiting and. Yeah. Um you know, you know, I did learn I did learn a couple of things this this week just by in, in you know, having this conversation with you guys. One, uh nobody nobody likes a winner apparently. Uh nobody likes a winner. Everybody wants to bash down the winner. It just reminds me it, it just reminds well, considering me. that me and Johnny were the ones that won. Yeah. Anyways, nobody really cares that shit. <laughs> what y'all think? Uh, That's, uh... No, I remember this one time because we're getting ready. I'm we're getting ready for calling, so I'm, I'm creating. Well, I'm waiting on the reply. It, so no, it, it, it's on. nothing. I understand that. No, one time me and uh, me and one of my uh, close friends decided to go to uh, Five Guys. I was like, oh man, the the one in town was really great that the burgers were juicy it was it was wonderful and he 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 was like man these these guys just like to show off their uh all their uh wins and everything like that i was like yeah we're we're losers we don't know what winning looks like so we get kind of offended when we see the winning signs we don't, and everything. We don't know how to handle it yeah like if if one of us actually like won something big, we would all like uh, looking at each other going. It'd be like it really happened. It, it'd be like Ricky Bobby doing the the, the interviews. I, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't, don't know do what I hands. hands. I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. It's about to be like five o'clock. I think Colin's about to get fired. Yeah. No. And this is a two-one vote, man. No, this is I. I'm, I'm. I mean. Okay, here he is. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, we. I was getting worried for a second. <laughs> On that backhand, it, it works. He's Firm not... hand on the wheel there, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. What's up, my guy? So grounded. So grounded. Getting out of the shower. Oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing you're not on Zoom. Um, <laughs> you got a joke ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's 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 try a new intro here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, angry, faithful, of all ages. In the aftermath of what is deemed a Chernobyl-level meltdown by the Dallas Cowboys. I bring to you your weekly reason to smile, laugh, and shake your head in proud, sustaining disappointment. It's the time that we've all come to know, love, anticipate, and dread at the same time. It's joke time with Kyle. Can I go? Yeah, yeah, you can go now. What are you, what are you called? The terrorists? The, 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 uh, I'm having a stroke. Uh, what do you call a terrorist? Uh, what do you call a swimming terrorist? A bath bomb. 
<laughs> David had Bad Touch Bob all ready to go. Oh, man. <clears throat> it's fantastic. What do you call it, Terry? I had to reset it again because I was when I was actually listening to it, I listened to his uh, thing. It just uh, it barely picks it up. But so Colin's joke was, "What do you call a terrorist that's in water? A bath bomb." No, 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 no. It, it just the sound doesn't pick it up. No, that's just it. Okay. <laughs> but I was in the shower, so I can... Okay, all right. So how was your day? Good. Good. How was Brother's Day? Good. Good. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna hop off here. I gotta go to work here in a little bit, but I will call you guys tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. All right. Love you guys. Love you. Later. Later. And there he goes, like a fabled fairy tale hero, bringing justice to the unjust, bringing happiness to the saddened. It has been your pleasure and my honor along with my esteemed company and David for joke time with Colin. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to feel Is this sorry about, is this I'm about, you know, <laughs> you know, it's about you gaslighting us. This is payback for you gaslighting, gaslighting us. Gaslighting us. The entire show, you've been gaslighting. No, 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 no. It's, Look, it's, we're it's. We're going to have to put you on suicide watch, David, because unlike Hitler, we're not going to let you skip out on the gas bill. No, absolutely. <laughs> 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 I like, I, like, I like how Chris was about to say something that he just you can see at that point you can actually since this is on video you can see at what point that Chris got that joke because he was like no guys it's oh, all I got God. it <laughs> that was I got nothing I, I got nothing you completely derailed the entire system. <laughs> Oh, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I think it's time that we land this plan because some of us have to go earn a living. So, yeah. Land, crash, you know. Yeah. Any, any, any land you can walk away from. Any of us were licensed or qualified. I'm just kind of putting that out there. <laughs> Rest in peace, Sky King. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. That's a deep cut right there. So everybody, for thank those you for of you that do not know, go Google Sky King. You will not regret it. <laughs> and you're welcome. Google Sky King. Yeah, yeah. Sky King. I'll tell you right now, fuck you guys. He flies with us in all of our hearts. <laughs> you know, David, think about it along the lines of uh, Dick's out for Harambe. Yes, I like to think. My Sky King has Arambe as a co-pilot. Are you talking about the uh, Western show? And both, and both of their dicks are. No. no. David, why are you the way you are? You are a constant source of disappointment to your mother. It, it happened in the Pacific Northwest. The guy, he, he stole a plane. Oh, yeah, that flight. one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, oh, everybody, man. thank you for making me mansplain something to you, David. I mean, well, it wasn't much of a man. I mean, you gotta, it's more of a, like a midget. Well, I know. I mean, I'm looking right at you, so I understand. No, oh, we know exactly about how you. little. <laughs> Good thing I'm used to abusive relationships. <laughs> You do have a type. That's all I'm saying. Mm. <laughs> this is true. All right. Like Wait, he was everybody. saying, this is episode <laughs> this is Ang- <laughs> Nerd Sports episode 93. Yeah. Nine, what? No, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's 93. Yeah. 93. I believe so. Or it might be 94. That's David Dickerman. I'm John. I'm David Skelton. Dickerman. <laughs> I'm Chris Jacko. Thank I'm you Johnny all for Skelton. listening. And goodbye. <laughs>